G'day folks, this is Shane. Today I'm doing a video that was sent in via email as a request and I thought, you know what? It sounds like a really interesting thing to try. So Scott, AKA Gas and Bullets, thanks for the email, man. I really appreciate it. Today we're gonna check out this Viking guitar from Hagstrom. Not only was the request to review this particular guitar, but it was also to plug the guitar in through a Fender Bass Breaker amp. And that's what I've done. I've grabbed the seven watt head and it's going into my two notes torpedo. Let's take a closer look at the guitar. So here's the guitar up close. There's a couple of things that I really dig about it. It has two humbucker pickups, a three-way toggle switch. So it's very much like an ES-335 in terms of its design. And we have a volume control here for the neck, volume control here for the bridge, and two tone controls. Just to note too, these roll forwards as being on as opposed to most Gibson guitars, which go the opposite way. Check out the tailpiece here as well. It looks really, really beautiful. In the hand, this guitar feels great. It's not overly heavy. I would say this is around the same weight as my ES-335 from Tokai, which is based on a 50s Gibson guitar. And the neck on this feels pretty much the same as well. It's basically a 50s style neck, so it feels really cool in the hand. Here's the headstock up close. I think it looks great with this mother of pearl style stuff going on here as well. Here's the back of the headstock. We've got Hagstrom tuners as well. And the tension on them is pretty good and I haven't had any problems with tuning stability. A huge thanks to Gas and Bullets for suggesting I do a review of this guitar through this particular amplifier. I'm really looking forward to it. It seems to be a really great combination. And a huge thanks to Sky Music for allowing me to borrow this guitar. If you want to find out more about them, all links will be on screen and in the description below. If you like 335s, you'll definitely get a kick out of this. All right, let's kick this off. We're gonna start on the bridge pickup and being that we're plugged into a Fender Bass Breaker 7 watt amp, we've got the gain cranked and the volume is up as well. We'll try it a bit cleaner a little bit later, but being that this is a one channel amp and the drive stage rocks, let's go ahead and give this a shot with the gain at about three o'clock. So this is bridge pickup. <laughs> combination. Neck pickup. And both pickups. extra gain thanks to this Australian made pedal called the Over Unity. This is Bridge. Sounds awesome. Over to both pickups. Let's try for some cleaner tones. This amp won't do a really great clean. It kind of always stays a little bit dirty because it doesn't have a dedicated clean channel. So I've wound the gain all the way back down to about nine o'clock and the volume's up at about two o'clock. Let's start on the neck pickup here. Nice. 
Thanks for watching, my name's Shane. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions about the guitar or the review, please let me know and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. What do I think of this particular guitar? If it wasn't blatantly obvious, I think it sounds spectacular. It seems to handle drive beautifully. I love the fact I can even stack more drive thanks to the pedal into the amp and it sounds clear and full without getting kind of weird or dark. It just has a really lively sound which feels great. It feels also really awesome in the hand. The neck shape is exactly what I like. I like 50s profile necks and having a little bit of extra width in the neck is always a good thing. My only small criticism of this is I could hear some oscillation on the B string coming from somewhere down here. So I don't know right now whether or not it's the actual bridge or what it is. Something's buzzing in the hardware. It's either this or it's something in the Tunematic bridge. I'm not 100% certain, but it's probably easily fixed. That said, that particular sound doesn't actually come through on the recording. It's only something I can hear given the acoustics of the instrument. Thanks again for watching and a huge thanks to Gas and Bullets for suggesting this. I really appreciate it. If you want to suggest a video for me to do from the stuff I have access to at Sky Music, check out their website. All links are on screen and in the description below. Thanks again for watching, folks. Catch you soon. See ya.